Hello everybody, before this episode starts, I just want to make a little bit of announcement for this uh, series, just letting you know that uh, what I said in that uh, other apology slash update, uh, making it a little bit different, instead I'm going to be going uh, the old format, just I'm going to be simulating parts of the game, so I can get out gameplay a lot faster, easier to edit and stuff like that, so uh, episodes may be a little bit shorter than normal, though uh, it's going to be a lot more episodes out faster, so I hope you guys enjoy this, and here's episode number 11 of the New York Yankees franchise, enjoy guys! I wipe my brow and I sweat my rust I'm breathing in the chemicals yeah. <sighs> I'm breaking in, shaping up the jacking Hello everybody, what is going on? This is Juniper Gaming here and I am Josh L bringing you episode number 11 of the New York Yankees franchise here on MLB 13 The Show and this is going to be a Tropicana Field facing off against the Rays before I get too far into the episode, I just want to say that I am recording this uh, in the middle of some uh, thunderstorms uh, scattered that at least ends. Um, hopefully you guys shouldn't hear in the background, though if you do, that's uh, what that little rumbling is. Though getting into the game now, we have the Yankees 24-23, and one game above 500, facing off against the 23-25 and Tampa Bay Rays here at the Trap, as I said earlier. And the Yankees trying to avoid falling to a 500 record and trying to pick up a win here. And the matchup uh, for today in terms of pitching, we all have Derek Hollins here on the Yankees. Newly acquired in the trade from uh, earlier in the season, and Jeremy Hellickson facing off against the Yankees on the Rays. So with that, we'll take a look at the lineup. We have Suzuki, Jeter, Tulowitzki, Alt, Euclid, Gordon, Cervelli, uh, Gardner, and Martin giving Puig a day off with Martin Teen batting in the number nine slot. So now we have Ichiro up, all one count, leading off the game. Little dribbler to Hellickson. He will throw it over to first base, and that will be the first batter of the game. Ichiro is out despite hustling down the line. Later on now, we will have Tolowitzki up 0-1 count again. Trying to get something going here for the Yankees, facing off against the former Rookie of the Year. The pitch. This one, he hits the little dribbler again to the shortstop. I believe that's Ian Escobar. Throws it on to first, and that will be an out. So that is the end of the inning for the Yankees. They go down 1-2-3. Now Holland is pitching against Jennings. 0-2 count. Can he get the strikeout? This pitch. See you later. Low and away cutter. And that will be a strikeout. And you'll see the replay in just a moment with the good delivery of Derek Holland on the junior per replay. Nice sinker, away and low, and that is how you do it. Going uh, out of the zone there. And now we have another own to count this one's to Longoria, a much more disciplined hitter. Can we get him out? Not a strikeout, though. It's a grounder to Euclid. And with that, the Rays will go down 1, 2, 3. So both sides going down easily. No hits on either side. Later on, own to count to Mike Olt, trying to avoid the strikeout. This one looks like uh, it's going to get in the hole, but you know, Escobar with a very good effort with the head first dive. He will be safe with the infield single. Good effort running down the line by Alt. Next is Euclid. 0 2 count. Gets a pitch low. This one he hits right at Longoria. It is a 5 4. No, it is not actually. Throws a little bit offline. Going for third. And the throw will be. He's going back. And now we're in a rundown, actually. So this is not very good. Guy at first is going for second. He'll be out at third, though. The runner will move to second. And I thought I could get to third, though, with a very good throw. Uh, he kind of just had to scramble back and got in a rundown. So that's not very good, though. Now we're going to have Cervelli up trying to get something on the first pitch here. This one, first pitch swing. He hits this one to deep center field. Jennings is back at the track at the wall. And this one is not coming back. See you later. All the way back at the 404 sign at center field. And that is a nice shot for Cervelli. Perfect timing. Good work. And that will give the Yankees a 2 to nothing. I believe it is, lead. He will round the bases, touch them all. And there you go. The Yankees will now take the lead, and that's good, especially in a matchup with Holland and Hellickson guy get uh, Hellickson off his guard, especially being a younger pitcher. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if it counts for this in this game, at least, though. In real life, you got to get the young pitchers off guard, especially with the long ball. Here you'll see the replay with the very nice swing, perfect timing. Very, uh, looks almost like it was down the middle, a little bit high. And there you see the final replay, and that was a shot all the way deep center field. And he cranked that one. So later on now, we'll have Holland pitching 2-1 count to, I believe this is Roberts. What can he do here? The pitch. This one. Little dribbler to Holland. He dives. Not sure if that was needed. A little bit dramatic there. So he'll throw it on to first. Regardless, that'll be an out. And uh, looking at another jumper replay. Was that really necessary? I, I don't know. That was uh, a bit interesting there. Uh, <laughs> pretty funny dive there. I didn't even press the dive button. I think it automatically did that, though. Hey, you know what? We got an out, and he made it look good. So now later on, this looks like Ichiro first pitch swinging here with a guy in first trying to avoid a double play. This one, he hits high and deep into left center field. Outfielder left and center going on a chase, but they will not get to it in time, and that will go down for extra bases. Guy on third trying to go for home. The play 
at third. He will be safe with the throw off line. Good job, Ichiro. Still has the wheels at, what is it, uh, 39 years old, I believe. He is very old, though. Now we have Tolowitz skip. He hits a little grounder to the third baseman, Longoria. He'll throw it onto first, and that will be an out. So the runner did score, though, so now we have three runs, I believe it is now. And Tolowitz skip with the RBI ground out. Now we have ult up. First pitch swing in here. 4 nothing is the lead. This one, he hits into high and deep left field. This one is not coming back. That is a no doubt, everybody. That is a moonshot. Whatever you want to call it, a tater, whatever. It's a home run, it is a shot, and that gives the Yankees a 5-0 lead. Very good buffer here. Holland's pitching good. Offense is coming alive here, and he'll round the bases as well. You saw Cervelli with that nice shot earlier, and now Ult is joining the party. He will touch their base, and that will be that. And later on, Holland trying to hold them at zero runs so far. 3 no counts. He will walk him, and that was Brandon Geyer. Got to watch out for him. He has a little bit of speed there. And uh, hopefully, you know, a walk, a leadoff walk is definitely asking for trouble. Now he's stealing, and Cervelli couldn't get a grip of it, and not very good there. So he'll reach second, so now the Rays have a runner in scoring position. And um, that shutout is in a little bit of jeopardy here, but 3-2 uh, and two count now. Can he get out of it? This one's hit high and not too deep into right field. Each row camps under it, and he'll make the play. He's going for third. Each row with the great arm. The play at third is actually not... As close as I thought. I would be. Uh, I thought that that would be an out, though. Guess it wasn't, and that will move the runner to third now. So now it is two outs. One and one count to Jennings. Guy on third. This one, he laces into right field. Ichiro will bring it in, and he'll throw it in. That's uh, a run for the Rays, the first one for the Rays, and that will be a 5-1 to one game now, and hopefully the Rays won't get too much here. And now it's first pitch swinging for Loney. This one, he hits into the hole, but maybe not. Gordon. New position, he will make the nice play there. And shortstop, pretty similar to second base, so that's not too much of a problem. But uh, we are going to move over to the top of the six as we fast forward, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. We have Cervelli up first pitch swing. He got a home run earlier. He hits a hot shot right at the shortstop, and that will be an out. So hit it right on the nose, but not enough for uh, a base hit. Later on, we have Ichiro, one and two count, trying to avoid the double play with guy on first and second one out, but... Uh, I guess uh, not as bad as a double play, though. He will get out with a strikeout. Beautiful high pitch there. Went outside the zone, up the ladder. Later on, we have Derek Jeter up. And this one, he hits into the hole. Escobar throws it to second. Nice play. And that will be an out. So good play by Escobar. Playing some smart baseball there. And with that, we'll move on to the next inning. 5-2, Yankees still lead. Later on, 0-2 count. What can he do here? The pitch. This one. He hits into high and deep left field. Garner's back at the track at the wall. He makes a jump. And that will be out of here, so not good there. And Gardner looks hurt, actually, after a pretty hopeless jump there. And that's not very good at all. Uh, we're going to have to replace him, and uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad of an injury. It doesn't look that bad, though uh, you don't like to see that. I mean, not only did you give up a home run, though you just you just lost a player, at least, for the rest of the game. So we're going to replace him, and you know what? We gave Pugue uh, the day off, so I guess that we'll have to put him into left field there, and that shouldn't be too much of a problem for him, and you see that he's uh, he's doing pretty all right in the majors, so that's uh, that's pretty good, don't worry, I know he's doing really good, that's, that was a joke. Later on, 0-2 count the pitch, this one, strike three on the nice slider, definitely good rebounding from the home run, the next batter to Kelly Johnson is a strikeout, so with that, he'll trot back to the dugout in disappointment. Later on, 3-2 and two count, this one, ball four, that sucks when you have 3-2 and two count and you just lose the batter. Brian Roberts will win the battle there. And later on, we have a strikeout, or no, first pitch swinging, actually. And that will be out at second with the stolen base. Good job by Cervelli rebounding after that uh, last stolen base that uh, didn't really get too much of a grip of it. But here, he will get him out, and that was not a strikeout. I believe that was first pitch swinging, so my bad on that. Though later on, 0 2 count to the same batter is Escobar. Can we get a strikeout here? Yes, we will. Backdoor slider. See you later. Very good. Now we're fast forwarding to the top of the eighth. One and one count. And the pitch. From how I don't even know if this is Elkson anymore. It's 6 3 now. And this is actually Cervelli. And this one, he laces into left field, just dunks it right in front of him. And that's a solid base hit. Cervelli with a pretty nice day. Now we have Puig, who uh, just came in earlier to replace Gardner's first at bat of the day. Hit this one into deep right field. And this one is not coming back. See you later. Buffers the Yankees' lead even more. So he comes into the game, and not too much of a loss as he hits a two-run shot there. And that was a bomb, too. Nice job, Puig. Showing off the power. Puig, Pug, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Looks like that was Jamie Wright, I believe it is. So he gives up a home run out of the bullpen, and that is not very good at all. 
touch them all. He joins the party with Alt and Cervelli. And I believe Cervelli, yeah, he was on base. So he gets uh, scored from a home run, though he didn't hit it this time. So buffers the Yankees lead even more. Now we have Martin up. And this is a 2-2 two and two count. And the pitch with nobody on. Five-run lead. This one gets in the alley into right center field. And I believe that was actually Jeter. I'm not too sure. And he will round the bases. And he will have to go for second. And he'll settle for extra base. And wow, this storm is really kicking up right now. And it was Derek Jeter, actually. Don't know why I thought it was Martin. Though he will get on base there. And now we have Tulowitzki up trying to get him home. And this one gets into high and deep left field. Left fielder's running back. Is this going to be enough? And it will. As that clears the fences. And two more runs on the board for the Yankees. They are now leading 10-3. to There you see Puig on the bench there. And Tulowitzki gets to join the party as well as... That's a small hat. I just realized that. Wow, seriously. But he joins the party with Puig, Cervelli, and Alt, I believe. I, I'm, I'm losing track now after all these players hitting home runs. I think we have a problem. No, that was a joke. And beautiful shot. Just cleared the fences. And that was a nice shot by Tulowitzki proving his worth after we traded uh, for him in the trade episode. I believe it was 7 so now we have 2-1. to one. Alt is up trying to put some more on the board. Just pour on the gravy. 2-1 count. This one he hits right at Escobar. He will throw it on to first for the out. So with that, we'll go ahead and head on to the bottom of the eighth. Holland's trying to hold him. Trying to uh, do something good here. He's getting tired. Hopefully that shouldn't affect him. 0-1 count to Longoria. This one is hit deep into left field. And Puig, I'm not going to jump with him. Or will I? Yeah, I think I do actually. Just because I'm stupid. And you know, that's <laughs> I don't want to injure him. So I don't know why I just jumped there. Though uh, it said that he was tired, and you know what? If it was a 4-3 to three ball game, I would have taken out him out, though. I mean, 10-3, to three, I mean, you know, you don't have too much to lose. So with that, we will go ahead and take out Holland in just a moment here, as it is now a 10-4 to four game, and hopefully we can just hold him to that and uh, not allow him to score any more runs. So with that, like I said, we will take him out, and we are going to bring in, in just a moment, Jabba Chamberlain. So solid outing for Holland. Nothing great, though. He kept us in the game. Seven solid innings, four uh, earned runs. I, I think it might have been three earned. I don't know. Uh, I think it's four. So that works with me. And, you know, I'm expecting a little bit more out of him, though. He kept us in the game. I mean, if we, if our bats were just average, then it would have been, like, more like ten. Uh, we wouldn't have scored ten runs. We would have been more like three or two runs, you know. So good outing. Kept us in the game. We're going to bring in Jabba Chamberlain with the 364 ERA. Two and one count. He hits this one into the alley. Right center field or left center field, that is. Now center field is running back. That's Martin. The runner is going to try to score the throw home. This one will not be in time, and the runner at second will go to third. 1-1 one -one count to Roberts. Nobody out. This one is hit right to Gordon, and I'm throwing it home. Why past Juniper? Why past me? Why did I throw it home? I do not know. That was stupid on my part. Always throw it first. Get the sure out. 1-2 count to Escobar. This one he hits luckily right at Gordon. It is going to be a 4-3 double play as he will step on the bag, and that will be that. So luckily... The run probably would have scored there anyway, so regardless, same situation. So now it's 10-6. Oh, one countless looks like Geyer. He bunts one down the third baseline. Euclid gets it, throws, and a very weak throw. He will be safe. Probably should have held down the button a little bit longer. Just to uh, not take any chances here, we're going to bring in Cody Epley to try to uh, stop the... I don't know if this is a term to use, uh, stop the bleeding, but we're going to try to stop them from scoring so many runs here. 2-2 two and two count here, and strike three on the nice backdoor slider to Jimenez. Very nice there. And now we're going to again fast forward to the bottom of the ninth, and we'll see if we can uh, end this game and win this one 10 6. Epley is still going to be out here 0 2 count to Jennings. This one, see you later as well. He got the strikeout earlier, now he has another strikeout on the outside sinker. Very nice pitch. Now we have 0 2 count to Longoria. Can we get him out? Strike three, and that's your ball game, everybody. 10 6 here at the trap. The Yankees will win this, and they are now. 25 and 23, very good game. Handshakes in the dugout, and very good outing, or maybe not very good, though. Solid, um, I don't even want to call it solid, I don't even know, it's average outing for Holland. Though the bats are what lit up the ballpark today for the Yankees, and the Rays didn't have a bad game either. I mean, they scored six runs, but they're, uh, um, yeah. They're pitching, I'm sorry. <laughs> their pitching is, um, not very good in this game. I mean, you'd think Holland would do better, though. Very good game overall. Puig with the home run, uh, Tulowitzki with the home run, Ult with the home run, Cervelli. All with the long ball, and we scored uh, runs through that. And also, you know, base hits and stuff. That's how you get them, everybody. And with the fist bumps and everything, that will go ahead and close off this game. And uh, by the way, I just want to throw this in. When I say that I'm fast-forwarding an inning, I don't play those. The computer plays those. It's not like I play it and I just don't record it. It's just I go on fast-forward to this inning, you know. So that's 
That's why that is. I just don't play them physically. So in case you're wondering, that was that. Then we're going to get a look at the player of the game. It is the shortstop, Troy Tolowitzki. He was two for five with two home runs. I forgot he had another home run at the uh, beginning, I believe it was, with four RBIs in this game. So we're going to again check out Brett Gardner here. He is going to be injured day-to-day. -day. Bruised shin shouldn't be too much of a problem. We are definitely stoked in terms of outfielders. Don't forget, we also have Mason Williams and Martin, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We win that one 10 6 We are now 25-23. Five games back in the division still. Hopefully the wild card spot shouldn't be too much to ask for, though. Now we have a little more to play in this uh, series, but I like that game against the Mets. It's Granky and Harvey. Uh, the game doesn't make Harvey do so great right now, though we're going to go ahead and face him anyway. Though the next game we're going to lose 2-1. to one, Very tough outing. We'll go and get the loss and Peralta with the win. Now we have Hughes starting. He makes me a little bit nervous against the struggling David Price. We win 6-2 to two that one. That's actually pretty surprising. If I see a good pitching matchup and I'm surprised, I go and check out these stats here. And Hughes with a solid outing. Seven innings, two earned runs with uh, bringing his ERA down to 470. Bullpen did a solid job as well. Stock is rising, whatever. And uh, sorry, I just say whatever for that though. There you see Mike All is mentioned in that. And now we have uh, Kershaw in just a moment here. Facing off against Yon Santana, I believe it is, and looks like we should have a pretty good shoe in here. I always have trust in Kershaw, and he will go ahead and win that one 4-2. to two. And I know I say shoe and you know, Santana's doing good in this game, but I just trust Kershaw so much. I had him in a franchise off-screen, and then will be 12 to show, and he just does amazing. He pitches eight solid innings, two earned runs, and in next episode, we will have Zach Greinke facing off against Matt Harvey. Looks like it's going to be a good matchup at City Field. And that will finish off that episode. We are now 27 and 24. We entered 24 and 23, so that works with me. We are now a game up in the uh, standings. Actually, we're probably two games up because before we might have been six, but I don't know. Whatever. We are doing solid now. Well, well not solid, but we are definitely making up some from lost some, from some lost ground. Sorry, I can't really talk. It's really hot out. But uh, until next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave suggestions in the description or comments. I'm sorry. Until next time, this is Juniper Gaming. I am out.